Hey everyone, and welcome back to another great eShop Deals video. And again this week, we have a packed video with over 25 new deals to look at. Now, just in case you're new to the series, quick reminder that I do not go over the deals that were mentioned in last week's video. So if you want a full lay of the land and really all the deals that are currently available, always check out last week's video, especially currently, there are some major, major deals that are still running. Just to name a few, Mario plus Rabbits, Scott Pilgrim, Immortals Phoenix Rising, all still on sale currently. Also, in case you missed it, I now do a midweek eShop deals video that focuses on all the games that are available at under $5. Now, we will be mentioning a few in this video and some games will overlap with that Wednesday video. But if you want to make sure to get all the really uber cheap games, seriously check out that midweek update. That is the video you want for the sub $5 deals. Now, we're not going to waste much more time and we're going to get right to the deals. The last thing I just want to mention before we get started, don't forget that the best way to support the channel and show that you like these videos is to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. Now, the first game collection that we're going to take a look at is a game collection that I've been overlooking for far too long, and that is Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trilogy. I'll be honest. The reason I hadn't suggested this game before, I actually hadn't played this series. I know it's crazy, but normally I'm not really into narrative driven games. So it actually took me a while to warm up to the idea that I might like this series. But every time I ask what games people are picking up, tons of people always mention Phoenix Wright. So I actually gave it a try this week. And you know what? I was totally wrong. This is a game series that is amazing and that I seriously could get into. And at $15 for all three games in one pack, because it's 50% off, this is actually a pretty amazing pickup. If you're into any type of narrative driven or deductive logic game, Phoenix Wright is an amazing pickup. Now, the next game that I want to take a look at is the Overcooked series. Now, I'm saying the series, although what we have on screen right now is Overcooked 2 because both games are on sale. And Overcooked 2 is $12.49 at 50% off, and the first one is only $4.99. Now, I'm pretty sure that part of this deal was re-triggered because they actually came out with the re-edition of the Overcooked series all in one pack with the add-on of online play. But nonetheless, if you want an awesome couch co-op game and you don't want to spend the big money to get the new pack, I do still find that the two Overcooked games are great deals, especially the first one at $5 if you just want to give the series a try before deciding on taking a bigger plunge. And basically, I'll skip over the first one really quickly when we get to it on the list, but we won't take much more time to look at it. This is just an amazing couch co-op game with one slight warning, if you know that the people you play with can be triggered easily when people aren't pulling their weight, I have seen quite a few arguments break over over some heated matches of Overcooked. Now the next game on our list is one that has a few days left on the deal and that is Okami HD that currently is 50% off for $9.99. Look, Okami HD is the remake of an amazing 3D action adventure game and now in HD, the art style is even more beautiful than it was before. But not only that, the gameplay is still very, very solid. So if you're looking for a 3D action game for this week, I would definitely say that Okami HD is, should definitely be at the top of your list. Now, the next game that I want to take a look at is always one that I hesitate a tiny bit to put on my list every time it comes up, but not because the game isn't amazing. Civilization 6 is an amazing turn-based strategy game and currently at 67% off for $19.79 you're getting an amazing package at a low price. The reason why I always hesitate to mention it all, every time is just because if anyone is a physical collector out there it's easy to get Civilization 6 at between $15 or $20 physically if you're ready to wait a few days ordering it on Amazon or whatnot. Of course, if you don't care about physical media and you're a digital only person, of course, it's a great price to buy it at and it's a great game to have in your collection. Now, the next game we want to take a look at is another game that I was sleeping on for quite a while. And that is Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen. And actually, I found out about this game, oddly enough, because I was looking at buying Kingdoms of Amalur. But I was wondering if it was worth dropping the money right away or waiting for a sale. 
And actually someone pointed me to this game instead and said, if you're looking for a really awesome action RPG with a medieval style, check out Dragon's Dogma. And honestly, this is a really solid action RPG in the medieval style, as I said earlier. And currently at 50% off for $14.99, I would put this straight up against Kingdoms of Amalur. And I would say that both experiences are really amazing games worth having. So if you're looking for that type of game and you haven't played this one yet, I would actually say pick this one up. And when the Kingdoms of Amalur will eventually go on sale, get that one a little bit later on. Now, the next game on our list is an awesome little puzzle game, which is Donut County. That is currently 70% off for only $3.89. And I would say that this is one of the best laid back puzzler type games on the Switch currently. Basically, you control a hole and your point is to basically gobble up everything on screen. And as you gobble stuff up, well, the hole gets bigger, letting you swallow bigger and bigger objects. And basically, you have to figure out what objects you have to swallow up first to manage to basically empty the screen. Donut County is super simple, but it is tons and tons of fun, especially, as I said, if you want a little laid back puzzler. The next game is a quick shout out to one of the games I actually looked at in my Wednesday video, and that is Akane that is only $1.99 currently because it's 60% off. If you want a really fun arcade style one hit kill game that just really tests your reflexes on an amazing level, Akane is a really fun game to pick up right now for only $2. Now, if you want a little more details, as I said, you can check out my Wednesday video. But if not, we are going to overlap a few games like this just so that we can throw in a few really cheap op in options in our general video. Now, as I mentioned a little earlier, Overcooked 1 is on sale as well. We won't go back into basically the details of the game because we looked at it quickly when we looked at the second one. I just wanted to show you that the first one, as I said earlier, is only $4.99 at 75% off. So it's a perfect place to basically just try out the series. Now, hopefully you're watching this video just as it's coming out, because the next game on our list is one that you don't want to miss. But unfortunately, currently there's only 22 hours left on the deal. And that is the last campfire that is currently 40% off at $8.99. Now, honestly, this is a 3D adventure puzzle game, and it is honestly one of the most engrossing and beautiful games to come out in the last few years in this type of gameplay. It has a beautiful storyline, a really awesome art style. Honestly, everything's there. If you like 3D puzzlers, this one should be a definite pickup for this week. Now, the next game on our list is another throwback to my Wednesday video, and that is Blaz Blue Cross Tag Battle. So this game was featured in that video as well. And currently, if you're looking for a new 2D fighting game that is seriously top notch quality, but is going to be uber cheap, this is probably your best stop for this week because it's currently 74% off at only $5. Now, I do want to warn that there is the deluxe or special edition version of this game available that is also on sale for only $25 that pretty much has all the downloadable content already included in the package. And if you're looking at getting everything regarding this game, it probably is the cheapest way than to download it later. But if you're just looking for a sort of casual 2v2 fighting game, Blast Blue at $5 is an amazing pickup for this week. Now, next on our list, we have another amazing couch co-op game, which is Moving Out that is currently 40% off at $14.99. Basically, as a team of two, it's very easy. You have to move everything out of different environments. Some are crazy like a moving plane, floating through space, and others are as simple as a regular house. But basically, at $15, this is a great game if you're looking for something new because you're stuck inside for still a couple of weeks or months. And on top of it, if you're not sure if you're going to like this game, this one does have a free downloadable demo to check out. And there's no reason not to if you're looking for a game like this. Now, the next game on the list is a game that I actually did a few Let's Play videos on and that I really loved for this year so far, and that is Blue Fire. That is back to its lowest price of $15.99 because it is 20% off. This is basically a 3D action platformer, 
And if you ever wondered what a 3D Zelda game like Ocarina of Time would look like if it had a baby with Hollow Knight, Blue Fire would pretty much be your answer. It gives you a tough as nails platformer, but with almost Souls-like combat thrown in and the art style of Hollow Knight. This is an amazing game if you're looking for a really challenging 3D platformer. So next, we have another great game that I actually reviewed on the channel as well, and that is Monster Sanctuary. That is 25% off for $14.99. Now, this is another mashup style of basically a monster breeding game, sort of like Pokemon, that's been meshed with a Metroidvania. Now, honestly, don't be put off by those two things because honestly, they actually end up blending really well in this game. And it is very different from a standard Pokemon game. Number one, all the battles are 3v3 and you can even play online against other trainers, which is really something that is amazing. If you want a lot more information, I would seriously say check out my review before buying the game if you're not too sure. But Monster Sanctuary, if you're into either Metroidvanias or monster breeding games, is an amazing game to pick up. So next, we have another amazing challenging game to look at, and that is Ashen. That is currently 65% off, bringing it all the way down to $13.99. Now, this is basically an open world action RPG, once again, that is very challenging with Souls-like combat. Honestly, if you wanted a series that almost feels as close to the Souls series, on the Nintendo Switch right now without it actually being called a Souls game, I would say Ashen is probably the closest you'll get to that type of experience currently. So basically, if you're into a challenge, I would say that this is a great time to pick this game up because it's, it's one of its lowest prices ever. Now, while we're still on the topic of challenging games, let's throw another out right away, and that is Blasphemous, that is also back on sale this week at 50% off, dropping the price to $12.49. Now, basically, if your challenging game type would be 2D Metroidvanias instead of 3D action, well, then Blasphemous is a definite amazing spot to land on. On top of it, this game is offering a free demo. So if you want to give it a whirl before deciding to purchase the game, I am sure that you'll be convinced as long as I said, as you're into that really challenging type of gameplay. Now, the next game on our list is one that I love to suggest when it's on sale, and that is Panzer Dragoon Remake. And the reason I love to suggest it when it's on sale is that the only thing this game has going against it is that a full playthrough isn't that long. I would say about an hour. So when someone spends $25 on a game that they can finish in an hour, some people feel bad about that. But at $6.24, it is an amazing value. And I personally have an extreme level of nostalgia for this game because this is a remake of a Sega classic. And basically, Panzer Dragoon you is an on-the-rail shooter where you're riding on the back of a dragon and shooting your targets. All the way playthrough is very short, there is an extreme level of replayability to the game because it's an arcade-style game that is made to be played through many, many times, trying to get a better score and basically finish the game in a more complete fashion. So if you're into that type of gameplay, check this one out for this week. You will not be disappointed. Now, the next game I want to take a look at is the Trine Ultimate Collection that has a day left on the sale. Now, quick warning, all the other games are on sale as well separately that are part of this collection. This is all four Trine games together, meaning that if you already own one or two of these games, you might want to check in to bind them separately rather than rebuying the whole pack. But if you only own maybe like one of them or none of them, the best way to pick up all the games is definitely with the Ultimate Collection at 70% off for only $14.99. Now these are some basically puzzle platformers where you have to alternate controlling different characters to go through different obstacles. And honestly, what I love about this series is each game gets consecutively better and better and better. And by the third and fourth game, you really have some amazing puzzle platformers. So I would definitely say that this is an amazing time to pick up the full collection. And I would actually almost work backwards through it, going from the fourth, the best one first, and then backing through all the way to one. So next on our list, we have another game that has a few days left on its sale, and that is Worms WMD. 
Basically, if you've never played the Worms series, you control a squad of worms that are basically equipped with various type of weapons from rocket launchers, machine guns, and right now you can even ride in tanks and other crazy vehicles. And right now, this game is 75% off for $7.49. This is an awesome strategy series. So if you like strategy games and you've never tried the Worms series, definitely give it a try. At $7.49, you're going to have some amazing value. Now, next on our list, we have Ukulele and the Impossible Lair. Basically, this game made my top 10 of 2D platformers under $30. So if I would recommend this game at $29.99, when it's on sale at 75% off for $7.49, you're ba basically getting one of the best 2D platforming experiences on the Switch for under $10. It's amazing value. Basically, this game was made by the team that made the original Donkey Kong Countries. And it can show and the gameplay is very, very similar, although it's a different duo and slightly different movement mechanics. But the polish and the quality of gameplay and the beautiful aesthetics of this game, all the tons of unlockables, I could just keep going on and on for all the reasons to pick up this game. Basically, if you're into 2D platformers, there should be no questions asked. You should own this game. Now, next on our list, we have a, an amazingly cheap game, which is Crypt of the Necro Dancer, that is currently 80% off for only $3.99. This is basically a rogue light rhythm based dungeon crawler. And if you're into any of those types of gameplay, try it out. Even if normally you don't like rhythm based games, because I personally am generally not that into rhythm based games, but I really love the heck out of Crypt of the Necro Dancer. It really does meld those gameplay styles together. And the game was so amazing that Nintendo even hired them to make a Hyrule version of Crypt of the Necro Dancer, which is basically an amazing gameplay style to fuse together. Give this one a try for $4. It's, it's almost a no miss game for this week. Now, next on our list, we have another great 2D fighter, which is Guilty Gear XX Axon Core Plus R. Title aside, this game is pretty amazing. And at 34% off for $9.80, it's actually a pretty great time to pick it up as well. Once again, this game is maybe not the most friendly for newbies to the fighting genre, but nonetheless, it still is an amazing game to pick up. However, you'll have to put some time into getting used to the mechanics to really become efficient in this game. It's not, as I said earlier, the easiest to pick up, but if you're looking for a game that will challenge you and really reward you for putting an investment of time into it, Guilty Gear XX is definitely a decent stop. Now, the next game on our list is a frequent flyer on our eShop Deals videos, and that is Blossom Tales The Sleeping King. Basically, every time that I talk about this game, I describe it in the same way. It's a top-down Zelda game without being called Zelda. It's basically almost very identical gameplay, very identical feeling from the game, and just as fun as a top-down Zelda game, which is one of actually my preferred styles for playing Zelda. And at 55% off for $6.74, although the game is maybe not as long as a traditional 2D Zelda is, it is still amazing value for this price. And if you need any more convincing, this one also has a free downloadable demo. So we talked about the second ukulele, well the first one is also on sale at 75% off for $9.99. And if the second one was basically a lot like Donkey Kong Country, well the first one is a lot like Banjo-Kazooie, because guess what, it's that team that worked on Banjo-Kazooie as well back in the day. And once again, the amazing visuals, amazing polish, amazing gameplay is all there for only $10. So if you're into 3D action platformers, Ukulele is another game that you should definitely have in your collection. Now we have another great Metroidvania series this week that is on sale, which is the Guacamelee series. And basically both the first and second game are majorly on sale. First one being the cheapest at 60% off for $5.99. We'll look at the second one in just a couple of minutes. But basically, the Guacamelee series is basically a Metroidvania series, but you're playing as a luchadore, which is basically a Mexican wrestler if you're not into it. What I love about this series is, although it's a Metroidvania, rather than being these dark 
colorless environments. They are blasting with colors with some amazing visuals. And the gameplay is challenging, yet a little bit easier than some other traditional Metroidvanias. Like, it's not as difficult as Hollow Knight or Blasphemous that we saw earlier. So if you want a Metroidvania that has a slightly less uh, of a challenge, I would definitely say check out the Guacamelee series, the second one being the best of the two. So as I just mentioned, we're going to take a quick look at Guacamelee 2. Uh, I'm not going to go back into details because everything I said about the first game is still completely through, true about the second one. Just a little bit more refined and the graphics, all that even a little more polished. But basically this one is a little more expensive just because its starting price is a little higher, but it's the same percentage off. So at 60% off, it's still $8.99 for an amazing 2D Metroidvania. So we're getting pretty close to the end of the list, but we have a couple of fast indies to look at at the end. Once again, a game that I pulled from my Wednesday under $5 list is Dog Urai. I had to talk about this game again because there's only a day left on the sale. So if you're watching this video as it comes out, it's still available. But honestly, it is one of the best Game Boy styled 2D action platformers that you can pick up. It is quite difficult, however, so be ready for a level of difficulty that goes along with those traditional 2D platformers. But at 60% off for $1.99, this is an amazing game to try out. Now, next on the list, we have an often overlooked, really amazing 3D platformer, and that is Pumpkin Jack. I've been talking about this game since it came out. Right now, it's back on sale for 34% off, making it $19.79. But honestly, this is one of the best action platformers to come out in the last few years, especially from an indie developer on the Switch. Basically, it's like the medieval series but for the Switch. And the reason I'm talking about this game so much is I want a sequel to this game. It's that good. And honestly, at this price, you're almost getting a game that I would have felt comfortable paying full retail price at, like $60 almost. But nonetheless, I am super glad that we got Pumpkin Jap for $30. And right now at $19.79, it's a great time to pick it up. Now, the last game we want to take a look at this week is Hebroxia 2. Honestly, it is currently one of my favorite space shooters on the Switch. Why? Because the gameplay is just fantastic, the controls are very responsive, and on top of that, it has a lot of modern elements thrown in, like RPG elements to help you progress through the game, multiple paths to take. It is just a ton of fun if you're into the space shooter type of gameplay, and it's one of the gameplay types that I love throw a few hours in here and there, and currently Hebroxia 2 is probably one of the best recent releases on the Switch, and at 30% off for $6.99, it is a really, really great time to pick it up. So that is it for this week's list of eShop deals. Once again, quick reminder, check out last week's video. You can see them on screen right now, but there are a ton of deals that are still going from last week. So if you really wanna make sure Put your money in the right place check out both videos you won't regret it also don't forget to check back now midweek for that second list of the awesome games that are under five dollars because there are generally a ton of games like that that just don't make the cut for the general list of eShop deals but now they will really be featured in that second video which will have a minimum minimum every week of 10 games but look even last week's list had over 20 on it and last thing before we go don't forget that, as I said at the beginning of the video, the best way to support the channel is to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you aren't already, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when all my new videos come out. But as usual, I hope I'll see all of you in my next video.